I mean, because we then, you know seeds, you have to just stand. Yeah, you know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's good to see you all here um, once again for our annual general meeting. And as usual, we're going to start the proceedings by introducing Miss Rickmansworth and her two attendants. Um, now, Miss Rickmansworth and the attendants this year are from Rickmansworth Park School, so we're very pleased to see them here. And um, without any further ado, I'll, um, I'll hand over to, the, to Barbara and to the Edmonds who are going to uh, bring the girls in. Thank you, Teddy. Right, welcome again, Miss Ricky 2011. Keen to get introduced. We've got three girls. We've got Megan Colbeck, Serena Presswell, and Jessica Tyler. If uh, Megan stands in the middle, and Jessica is on the outside. Here we have Miss Ricky, here we have Serena, and here we have Jessica. Before we talk to them, just a few thank yous as usual. We're always very pleased that the Watford Observer still sponsors this competition. So thank you for that. So let's get on and let's talk to Megan first. Step forward, Megan. So how did you feel when you found out you were being chosen this rookie? Excited. Good. And was it a real surprise? Yeah. So are you looking forward to when Rookie Week starts in May and you're going to ride in the procession and enjoy the public accolades and all that? Yeah. What's your most favourite thing you like doing? Playing with my pets. Oh, what are they? I've got two guinea pigs and a cat. So, do you enjoy any sports at school? <coughs> Tag rugby. Tag rugby? What does that involve? Uh, well, you have to try and chase the person who's got the ball and pull their tag off their waist. What other interests do you like? Any favourite TV programmes? Um, I like watching Disney Channel. Right, and what's special on that? Um, I like all of it. <laughs> Which is fair, that keeps you entertained, does it? As you've got such sporting interests, are you looking forward to next year's Olympics? Um, I like it all. Good. Okay, we'll step back for a moment and we'll speak to Serena. Come forward, Serena. So how about you? Where does your hobby and interest lie? I like art and I like sports. Right. In the world of art, is this um, painting or do you like sketching or...? Um, sketching. Right, and what sort of thing do you do? Is it still live or is it scenes or...? Scenes. So do you think one day you'd like to make a career in art? So how are you doing with your lessons at the moment? Are you progressing well? Yeah. What about sports? Any interest in sports? Uh, I like basketball. Do you think we stand a chance of winning medals next year in basketball? Uh, yeah. What sort of things do you like making? Cakes and...? Uh, cakes and like biscuits. Yeah. And, and they're tasty, aren't they? Yeah. Good. Are they chocolate ones? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, step back. We'll speak to Jessica. Right, Jessica, do you like going to the cinema at all? Yeah. Right, what was the last film you saw? Um, Harry Potter. <laughs> was it Harry Potter? Yeah. Well, have you seen, because the latest one's out on DVD, Chronicles of Narnia, number three book. So how about, do you do any sports? Are you keen on sports? I Oh, you're a tank rugby too, so do you compete with, with um, Megan? You know, you probably might get other people ask you to attend different events and all that sort of thing. Do you think you'll be keen to go? Yeah. And you, Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Good. So we'll get plenty of help from you all then. Pop back. So there we are, folks. Uh, Miss Rick was worth the two attendants. And now what we'll do, we'll put their cloaks and their medals and their tiaras uh, and give you an idea what they're going to look like on the day. Made for someone bigger. <laughs> More or less. I like the long flowing hair, all pretty matching. <laughs> We were thinking of holding this up to roll out a hole, but they were fully booked. So, so we had to come here, yeah, that, that's alright. Right, face the audience, folks. There we are, we have Megan, Megan, and Jessica. Megan, 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 
Thanks very much. Please take the seat. I would like to take this opportunity of welcoming here um, Councillor Ron Spellen, who have just seen, um, congratulated Ms. Worth and her attendance. Uh, Councillor Spellen is chairman of Three Rivers District Council for this year. Um, and he was with us last year, actually, in his capacity as vice chairman. Uh, and next to him is um, Anne Shaw, who's leader of the council. We'll now proceed with the business of the meeting. Um, All this is happening down at the Aquadrome. And as I said, I, I, I said to Alan Russell that I would tell you at the AGM. As I said, they were too late to get into the programme. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much, Barbara. May we move on then, perhaps, to the Treasurer's report. Peter. Mr Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to a generous sponsorship of £500 from the Rickmansworth and Chorleywood Community Times by its editor, Nina Hosking, who is also making her mark as the chairman of the Victims of the Chamber of Commerce. I should, for the first time since we had to obtain adverts for the programme in its present size, have broken exactly even under this particular heading. Thank you very much, Peter. Um, I must say, uh, I'm very grateful to Peter for the tremendous amount of work he puts in and the production of these programmes for Ricky Week. Almost entirely Peter's work, I have to say. And um, very impressive income from advertising result of, I know, a lot of time spent badgering people to part with their money and, um, and, and publicise their organisations in the programme. So many thanks, Peter. Well, it's the highlight of the evening, the Chairman's report. Um, I'll try and get through it fairly quickly. Um, and if I may just interrupt there, thanks to Tony for all the work he does with the questions with Ron and also the scoring. But Somebody, went, somebody must blow Tony's trumpet for him, so let me do that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I'd mm. also like to add my personal thanks to Ron for helping with the questions. Now, the Cup is presented annually in memory of Kay, who was our chairman from 1961 to 2005. And it's awarded to an organisation or individual or individuals who have given outstanding service to the community of Ripman's World. This is the fifth year in which the Cup's to be presented and we are pleased to announce that it's to be awarded to Mr. Jeff Payne, who's sitting in the front row here, uh, who has been nominated by Three Rivers Museum Trust. Jeff is Vice Chairman of the Trust, and the citation we received with the nomination explains that he's been a moving force in the museum since it was founded over 20 years ago. In the last few years, he's also devoted time and effort to stewarding at the Croxley Barn on the open days there. Jeff is an authority on historic bicycles, which he collects and restores. He has served as International Membership Secretary of the Veterans Cycle Club. In addition, Jeff gives lectures to various community groups, including talks on his wartime experiences in the RAF and his wife Evelyn's experiences as a Land Army girl. So with that, um, it does give us great pleasure to award the, the cup to, to Jeff. And I should like to ask Councillor Spellman, Chairman of the Council, to come and award the cup to Jeff. Jeff, I present this cup, uh, which in memory of Kay Madison, such a lovely lady. I'm sure she's smiling with us today. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and... Uh, in her memory, will you accept this cup for all the work you do in the museum and in three years in general? Congratulations. Thank you. I was sent here, I was sent to RAF, I'm pretty on promotion, and I tried to find a house in Pratchbridge. I didn't like it, but I did like Ripley's Birth in Proxy Green, so I came here to live, and I'm so pleased. It's a very happy place to live, and I, uh, my wife loves it here also. So thank you so much. It's meant an awful lot to me. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. After the questions, we're going to have a talk given by Margaret, Margaret Owen, and Alan Jameson. Well, he tells me he's the AV man. He's going to look after the slides and so on. Um, on um, old house buildings in Rickmansworth and people who lived in them. It should be very interesting. Thank you.
Any other business, ladies and gentlemen? In that case, I'll declare the meeting closed. <laughs> <laughs>